Joining me now to bring us an update on this is investigative immigration reporter for The Daily Caller, Jenny Tayer. Jenny, a great scoop, and thank you for joining us, but a great scoop this week from you. You have revealed that U.S. federal officials are warning that members of Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and Hezbollah could be using the chaos at the southern border to cross into the United States. What's happening and how concerning is this? That's right. This is something that federal border authorities in the United States are warning that these terrorists could be exploiting the situation at the southern border right now to cross into the U.S. illegally. We know that Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Palestinian Islamic Jihad terrorist organizations are not only threats to Israel and the Jewish people, but are also threats to the United States. And of course, that is what's happening. The situation came through in a memo about the uh, war in Israel happening right now, that that could metastasize to our southern border. And of course, we know that illegal immigration is up, that it's overwhelming border authorities, and that a lot of people are slipping through the cracks. So it's very concerning. And there's more to this, too, because you've also found that federal border authorities apprehending Palestinian migrants coming into the U.S. have been classing them as other nationalities. What, so they don't wind up on the books as Palestinians and causing alarm? What is happening here? And is the U.S. potentially facilitating some of this? The situation is that we just don't know how many Palestinians are coming across because you have a system in place right now, because the U.S. doesn't, uh, of course, recognize uh, Palestine as a country when the country of origin is being reported, even if a migrant has the Palestinian Authority issued passport, if they do have documents, they are normally categorized as Israeli in a lot of cases, just because that's the nearest only option and there's no actual blanket policy about this. And so it forces these agents to make kind of arbitrary decisions about what, how they should classify these people. Um, of course, with this current memo, maybe that will change, but it is something that is alarming due to the fact that we have this situation in Israel and then it could be coming across our southern border. And Jenny, you know, to be quite clear, too, we know about this because these are the migrants that have come through that have had contact with border officials, the ones who they've picked up. But there could also be quite easily for everyone that we know about another one who we don't who is already in the country. Right, exactly. We are just seeing this massive surge in illegal immigration, surge in fentanyl a surge in migrants from outside of Mexico and Central America. Um, this is something that is definitely a national security risk. We saw uh, the number of terrorism apprehensions, of migrants whose names appear on the terror watch list that have crossed illegally, surged in numbers we just haven't seen ever before in our history. It's something that is just uh, out of hand, out of control. And within the United States, authorities also have their hands tied when it comes to law enforcement authorities to be able to go after people who are committing crimes that are here illegally or that should be deported based on visa overstays, it's just not a priority under the Biden administration. Well, it sounds like it's an absolute tragedy waiting to happen, but I want to ask about the uh, efforts to stop all of this. Texas's attorney general has filed a lawsuit seeking to block federal agents from cutting and destroying the razor wire that the state has installed. Will they be successful? And I mean, how can Homeland Security be against anything put up to stop people from coming across illegally? Right. It's uh, as you're showing this clip here, I actually took this video and uh, it was right when a Border Patrol agent had fist bumped a migrant after that agent had cut the razor wire that Texas Governor Greg Abbott had erected in uh, at the border there, right on the front line uh, to stop people from coming. Now, there's this issue of federal law versus state law. And of course, the Biden administration itself being at odds with an, a Republican governor in Texas. Um, but it is something that has now come to the courts to decide, possibly. And we even know now that Abbott has put up even more razor wire in that area. And on top of that, he's put a razor wire uh, 
you know, barrier between states, between Texas and New Mexico, because a lot of these migrants will cross illegally into New Mexico and then walk over to Texas or they're transported to Texas. And of course, that has issues within the state. You know, migrants who are smuggled, for example, create issues, um, security issues on the uh, country roads there. Sometimes mm. you have one lane roads where there's car chases and extreme, you know, mishaps and people are, are killed because of car wrecks. Unbelievable. Jenny Taylor, thank you so much for the great work you're doing uh, with Daily Caller and bringing it to us here on the U.S. Port. Really appreciate it.